All right, welcome to today's tutorial, Think or Swim. We're going to take a deep dive into the watch list. By the end of this uh, tutorial video, you should be able to use predefined watch lists, custom, make custom watch lists, use market watch tab heat map to track your stocks, your watch list stocks effectively, and a few other things. Here I am in the paper trading side of the Think or Swim platform. This is the simulation account. And you see first on this left hand column here, I have a watch list. This is the what we would call the watch list panel. All these gadgets here can be changed out. I can delete this gadget right here. Delete this gadget right here. And delete this gadget right here. And what we have here is a watch list. This is a predefined watch list. You, get, you have several of them. So let's take a look at some of them real quick. If you have positions it will show up here. You have some of these but basically I want to look at the public ones. You, you have these all predefined by uh, Charles, Charles Schwab. Uh, you got winners and losers. A lot of these if you got a, a little target right here these are di dynamic watch lists. That means they're updating all the time. And then you notice you got all your indexes here. And you got top 10. And these are, again, dynamic. They're updating all the time as the price changes. It's reflected in the watch list. Then, of course, you got by industry. And social was active on social. And then you got to create watch list and create scan query. You can create your own dynamic watch list uh, using the scan, which is an advanced method we will do in another video. We're going, but just so you know, you can use your scan to create watch, watch list. But that's an, that's an advanced method. We'll do that in another video. So now that you know where the watch list panel is, there's one other place you can access watch list. That's under market watch. And you have lots of functions you can do with watch lists. Notice here we got a select watch list tab here under market watch. We can go here and we can say if you have personal watch list, there will be something right here with your list of watch lists you created, which we're going to get into a little bit later, but we're looking at the public ones right now. So let's say we're going to use the S&P 500. We've selected that watch list. And now we want to look at the quotes for everything in the S&P 500. We come over to the quotes. We have the entire watch list here. It's giving you these quotes. You can organize these columns right here. Clicking that little gear icon. Remove and add to the various things here. Just by clicking that little gear icon, you can sort, ascend and descend, etc. Uh, the, one of the neat things, which I'm looking at the NASDAQ 100 all the time on this thing, is going to visualize. And let's go to, now you notice we, we could have selected the watch list we did earlier from up here. You can also do it from the side here. Just click there. And this will give you a heat map. Obviously red's down and green is up. The brighter the color, the more up or down it is. And... That's another neat thing you can do with the watch list. When you create personal watch lists, you can also have a heat map for your own watch list that will produce here. It would be right under this tab right here. So that's some what's already available before you do anything. Just explore it. And what we want to do now is we want to create a new watch list. I want to take a moment to tell you about a book I wrote, and I'd like to give you a free copy. The book's title is The Parable of the Wicked Mammon, originally written by William Tyndale in 1528. William Tyndale, as you may or may not know, was the first person to translate the Bible into English in the early 1500s. For this groundbreaking work, the Pope of the Roman Catholic Church, with the assistance from England, had Tyndale burned at the stake. While he was being executed, Tyndale famously prayed, God, open the eyes of the King of England. That prayer was answered some years later when King James commissioned the King James Bible in 1604 and it was published in 1611. The Parable of the Wicked Mammon is one of Tyndale's lesser known writings. 
It was written in Middle English, which can be challenging for modern readers. Therefore, I updated it to Modern English, originally just for myself, but I realized others might benefit from reading it as well, so I decided to publish it. In this book, Tyndale draws on a biblical parable about an unfaithful manager of his master's finances and uses it to explain the gospel of Jesus Christ. What makes this work so fascinating is how it illuminates God's purposes for our finances and, more importantly, for our lives. If you are a trader who calls themselves a Christian, I highly recommend downloading and reading this book. It will open your eyes to God's plans for the resources He entrusts to you while offering solemn warnings about accumulating wealth for selfish purposes. The book provides guidance on avoiding dangers of focusing on material possessions such as tearing down barns and building bigger ones to store your goods in, or the modern day equivalent of renting self-storage space, all the while preparing you for the day of judgment. It will help you guard against gaining the whole world and losing your own soul. If you are not a Christian, I encourage you to download and read the book. There is nothing more important than your soul, not money, not trading, not even family or country. Jesus Christ came to offer you a right relationship with God the Father, and by reading this book, you may find that He introduces Himself to you. You can download a PDF copy using the Google Drive link pinned in the comments section. If you prefer a Kindle version, it's available on Amazon for only 99 cents. Paperback and hardcover editions are also available. May Jesus Christ reveal Himself to you in ways you could have never imagined. To create a new watch list, any gadget that you have, it doesn't matter what it is, it could be the TV, it doesn't matter, click this little drop down here, and we want to create a watch list. And I'm just going to call this my hot stocks. And in my hot stocks, I'm going to add Google. And then I'm going to hit the enter key. And then I'm going to add Tesla. Hit the enter key. I'm going to add NVIDIA. Enter key. And let's get one more. Let's get Netflix. And enter. Obviously, you can come down here and you add, remove, sort. You can actually import a watch list. We're not going to get to that. It's more advanced uh, topic. We're not going to get to it in this video. But if you have your own watch list in an Excel file, you can select that file right here and import it. If it's already made up. So we're going to save that. My hot stocks. Now, look when I come over here to my personal tab, it shows up. And there's my heat map for my hot stocks. And if I switch out of this, let's say I just go to, let's just grab, ah, get over here. Let's grab this one here. And I want to go back to my hot stocks. I can do that. Or I could come down here and I can add another watch list. My hot stocks going here. Let's say I want the NASDAQ 100 right here. I could do that. So that's creating a watch list. You can, uh, another thing you can do, you can, these little, uh, little spots right here with the color, you can link. Let's say I want my hot, my hot stocks to be purple. I'm going to show you the importance of this in just a moment. So I'm going to create purple there, and then I'm going to go to my chart, and I'm going to bring my chart to purple. Now, as I click through on here, you'll notice the stock changes to whatever is on my watch list so I can get a quick look at what the charts doing and if I switch this to yellow I have it currently configured with the NASDAQ 100 and I can go right through there clicking on any of them see what everything's doing with just a just just a mouse click now if you don't want your watch list to change anything when you click on it make sure you have the unlink here and notice if I went back to purple, which this was, I'm clicking because it's unlinked. It's not changing anything. So that's how you can quickly uh, connect your watch list to the chart so you can get to it by a quick, quick click. Now to edit your watch list, just come down here to edit. Edit my hot stocks. It's going to come up here. Let's say uh, 
Let's say Netflix is no longer something I want. I just remove that symbol. I save, and obviously it's update. You can add a symbol right from here. Let's say I want to add Apple. Just type in the ticker, hit enter, or of course you can come down here. Let's say I want to add AVGO. Hit enter, or I could have done right there, and all it's going to do is pop me down into that spot right there. So that's how you add, remove symbols from your watch list. So I believe we have covered the basics of the watch list. You should be able to create, link to your charts, find the public ones, play around with them, see what's what. Just remember the little bullseye, the little purple bullseye means that's dynamic, means the price is updating. Uh, and whatever you happen to have in your columns, which by the way, I forgot to mention, you can customize your columns. Whatever you want, right here, right here, add, remove, little gear icon is anywhere you see a little gear icon it means you can customize something but uh so that's what that's what you do and that's it so now you know how to create and manage explore watch list on think or swim watch list are a powerful tool to keep your trading organized and efficient now if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on future videos and thank you for watching and you guys have a good day